And so the dentist says 2.30. <laughs> oh, hey there. Well, you actually might be noticing an issue here. Is my patient's getting a little early April shower, as you can see. And this is all because of this. This little bugger right here has a sticky button. So if you want to kind of follow me and uh, go through the whole motions, we'll learn how to change the sticky button so uh, this guy doesn't have to go home and uh, take another bath to get all the dental water off. So here's kind of the rapid fast version of how to go and fix this. catch that? Well, if it was too quick for you, stick around for the rest of the video and enjoy what we're going to be going over today. You might learn a good thing or two to uh, help out your office. In the meantime, uh, go and clean yourself up, okay? When it comes to cleaning out a button on this style type of air water syringe, first thing to look at is this retention key that's right here off on the side. What, are we, what we're going to need to do is push this retention key all the way through one side out the other so that we can get these buttons out because right now that retention key locks those in place. So a way that you can go and work on this is taking your smallest allen key or an instrument, maybe even a broken instrument that might fit this hole and you're going to push this retention pin out the side. Now you can't just go and push it completely in and get it all the way out because these buttons are held in by also another spring. So I'm just going to go and push down on these buttons and push this pin out one side and you can take it with your fingers or maybe even a cotton plier to remove the rest. Now like I mentioned, the spring in here is going to make these shoot up. Always keep track of these springs. So as I go and slowly lift up on this, I can slowly go and pull each one of these buttons out of place. So right now I have my air button that I'm going to go and pull and remove and you'll see all the different o-rings and pieces to this button. And sometimes, and sometimes after a while there's going to be gunk built up inside of these little layers of this uh, little piston that goes and moves up and, up and down. So we can go and clean all these little bits to get it to go, be loose and move freely. I can go over here to my water button and go and pull this one also. Check the piston, make sure that everything's nice and clean. If it needs to be lubricated up, a lot of times with your manufacturer that you get it from, there's gonna be a, this little bit of silicone lubri lubricant. If on the pinch that you don't have any of this, but you're going to order and get some soon, another thing that we can use is petroleum jelly, but don't use it for too long. It is known to, uh, to eat away at the O-rings. So if you're gonna replace the whole unit eventually or soon enough and you just need to get by, you can use that. If you have some of this spared left behind and you don't need to use a lot of it, we can go and lubricate with this material. Like I mentioned, inside one of these little pieces are gonna be a spring. So I have this little cotton tip applicator that I can go and use and gather these little springs that I have. These springs can get gunked up with a lot of crud and everything also. So just be mindful that, A, it's a, probably a good practice to go and clean these out also. So what I'm gonna use is this alcohol bottle, give it a couple pushes, get some alcohol so I can clean out the interiors of my air water buttons. There might be some gunk left over behind and this is a clean one at the moment so there's no, not too much of a problem here. But <clears throat> as I go over to my buttons and get those cleaned out really good, you might find a different problem. So I can go take a look. It looks like there's still a lubricant that's on here, so I don't need to clean these up with my alcohol two by two. But I'll just go and give this a nice little twist and try to get all that gunk out. See anything that's left in between this little piston rod, make sure it's nice and clean and hit it up with my lubricant as I need to. To go and put these back together the correct way, make sure that your correct spring is back into the holes. Like we mentioned before, the springs need to push that button right back up and with them back into their spots, we can go and place them, we can go and place the buttons back onto the little area. Now, we gotta remember, put that retention pin going right back through that we have here. So, first we need to do is instead of pushing it in all the way, you can see that my buttons are not fully depressed. So, I'm going to need to push both of these all the way down, 
put my retention pin through one side and you may need to use an instrument or maybe even the back of your cotton plier to go and make it flush. If you notice right now I still have a little piece that sticks out here off on the side so I might need to put a little extra pr pressure to make sure that that's nice and flat. Now I can let go, check out my buttons, make sure that my buttons spring up completely. Looks like they both match each other. Pretty good. I can put that off to the side. And that's how to go about repairing one of these air water syringes that have sticky buttons. At least for the one that has a collar on it. If you find that this isn't the type of piece that you have in your office, go over ahead and check out my other video that has the friction type of holding for the air water syringe and that will go through the same process of repair. Apart from that, thank you for staying around. Check out my other videos if it interests you and we'll see you next time on Dental Things. Later.